Welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the third. If you haven't seen this Sundor yet, you're in for a treat. This one is something. It may be almost as much of a trip as, as uh, Moondor 5, but for very different reasons. So as I said uh, back when we first explored this area, in order to open this one, you need all of the quartz with gem in their names, but they actually changed the requirement in the Evo remake. In Evo, they added some... Wait, I don't actually have them all? Okay, so what I had to do was I had to take the Winds gem and the Mirage gems off of the people who had them. You have to have all of these gems not currently equipped on someone's augment. They've got to be in your inventory. So thankfully, I didn't have to make any new gems. Also, there is technically one type of gem that isn't required to open this door, and that's because we get it for the first time within this door. Now, as I was saying, this door is kind of a trip. And this is no indication of it. This is just our, let's call this the waiting room for the true insanity that is to unfold. I'm not voice patching this because there's uh, a mini game in this and it would probably get very, very awkward because you've got to kind of hit answers quickly and I'd probably end up interrupting voice clips halfway through and just like the fishing, it would probably sound really bad. Hey, how have you been doing? It's me. You remember me, right? Thanks for coming all this way to see me. I hope we both have enough fun to make it worth your while. What? What am I even doing here? You didn't really ask me that, did you? Now, now, a boy's gotta have his secrets. Anyway, let's move on to more important matters, shall we? I've got something really fun in store for you today. It's called Who Wants to Be a Mirror in case you didn't already realize, this is a game full of fun pop questions to see how well you know your trails. Well, just trails in the sky, but the others weren't released at the time. Ready to give it a go? You are, right? Become a mirror Very nice. I was hoping you'd say that. Well, if you'll excuse me, I better go get changed. I won't keep you waiting too long, okay? So, yes, this is a thing. <laughs> Campies, who wants to be a mirror Each round contains 10 multiple choice questions. Choose the right answer for each of them within the allotted time to win. Choosing a wrong answer or running out of time will darken one of the circles. So basically it's a three strikes and you're out. But as long as you don't get three strikes, then um, then you'll get through. Look at that, the idea of, of Weissman actually participating in a quiz game, <laughs> along with a creepy sheep, like this is just... Anyway, uh, also, this this music right here, uh, it's going to be replaced with something a lot more energetic soon. This. Um, and also, take note of Campanella's outfits, because they get interesting. This music, by the way, it has a name that is almost as ridiculously out there as what it sounds like. The mystery of the sky is Kiseki Depon. Okay. Uh, which, oh, which is in the Zeiss region? Zeiss is Amber. Wait, no, Cunny, dang, dang it, I thought Amber, I was like, it's the red one, but I got the wrong one there. I knew it was the red one, though. Uh, following is a title, uh, yeah, he's a Divine Blade. So, the, the, like, the things that Campanella says after you answer correctly, some of them actually have interesting lore in them. Uh, play performed. Oh yes, that's uh, Madrigal the White Magnolia. Yes, it's a lovely happy Deus Ex Machina ending. Literal Deus Ex Machina. Uh, what did Estelle ask her parents for in the dream sequence? Uh, was it... Nope. Oh, it was a sibling. Alright, yeah. Oh yes, he did do that, didn't she? Uh, oh, this one is easy. Whereabouts of Light. I think Whereabouts of Hope is the name of an actual track, though. And, uh, yes, this is important lore. Remember that for Cold Steel. Okay, Ruin is the blue one, so that's Sapphire.
Uh, oh. Oh, that's easy. Yep, Straker. <laughs> the Burl new service. Uh, Roland is the green one, so that would be the Esmellus Tower. Uh, uh, oh, his sister is Misha. Oh, uh, okay, Zin is the immovable. I've actually seen what that title looks like in Japanese, and the kanji is literally just not moving. Uh, but yeah, uh, they called him Zane in an earlier translation, and they've constantly given themselves flack about it. So, okay, I got a, I got a trophy there, uh, achievement, whatever, that's because, uh, you only need to complete this on normal to count as having completed all the sun doors. So, um, yeah. Also, um, you get points based on, like, um, yeah, I've, I'm the second lowest rank here. You get points, like, based on your score, and in order to, like, I have never even come close to the high scores in this. Because you've got to answer the questions, like, within a millisecond of them showing up. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, I'm nowhere near that fast. It probably is faster if you're playing with, like, a mouse. Yay, you did it! I knew you could. Well, I've had plenty of fun for today, so I think I'll go down, go do my own thing now. If you ever feel like another round, though, you know where to find me. Bye-bye for now. And I should be getting... There we go, yep, the, the achievement for doing all of the sun doors. Because, like I said, you only need to complete it on any difficulty to um, uh, count as having finished this door. But uh, the rank is not what's important. What's important is that every difficulty of this, and there are four of them, gives you a different reward. This one is, is the recipe for uh, an attack food item. And now we can play hard difficulty! Oh boy. So yeah, um, I am going to be failing a lot at the higher difficulties because some of the trivia they ask you for is, uh, it's kind of absurd. Uh, but anyway, um, that's the, uh, the recipe book button. But yeah, we now have the recipe for septium bullets, which are decently powerful, but not as good as bloody meatballs, which we just found in a chest earlier. But that was only easy mode. The rewards do get greater. But so does the pain. Okay, so from now on we don't actually need to uh, have all of those quartz in our inventory in order to open the door. That's good to know. It's just like you no longer need Zin for the arena after you've completed the arena on normal. Hi, Campanella. Why, hello! You came back to see me again, did you? Well, aren't you just a doll? So, would you like to play another round? Very nice, I was hoping you'd say that. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'd better go and get changed. Uh, so remember what I said to pay attention to Campanella's outfits? Well, um... They get more and more ridiculous as you go up the difficulties. So if you think this is insane, you you ain't seen nothing yet. Why does he have a band-aid on his leg? Anyway. Oh, and an Ouroboros flag. Okay. Oh, see, this, this, is, this is the... Is it Kitty? Yeah, I, I know that one of them was named Kitty. And yes, yeah, she's the one who got ship teased with uh, the guy in Roland whose mother was constantly trying to matchmake him. Uh, formal name of the Master of Valeria Lake. Uh, that would be the Dynasty. Yep, yeah, that is the Master of Valeria Lake. Yep. The others are big fish, but uh, they're not the Master of the Lake. Uh, okay, I'm, I believe the bandana's green, isn't it? There we go, yeah. And that would be so embarrassing because it's in all of, like, to get wrong because it's in all of his portraits. Uh, oh, the Gretna? Oh, what's that? Is that, is that red? Nope. Uh, Claudius' late father, I believe his name was Ed. No, Judas. Yeah, I know it's, it's definitely not the first two. Uh, oh no, her major I'm pretty sure was social studies, yep. And uh, also, um, also that got mistranslated, I think, in an earlier version. We're already on question seven. Oh yeah, it's Lionhearted, and that is actually what his name means. Oh, Morgan's wife, Morgan's wife. I think it's Katrina. Okay, that was a lucky guess. 
Oh, okay, okay, yeah. This is- I'm actually really glad that this question showed up, because this is the one that I was complaining about back in the Blue Blanc, uh, door, Starter 11. Yeah. This is the one that outright confirms that, uh, X is Blue Bunk's true identity, and I really wish it didn't. Okay, so one more question and one more strike. I either get this right, or I, f or I fail right at the end. Oh, that's really easy, too. The interesting thing about- oh boy, wow. <laughs> uh, power level debates. But yeah, the interesting thing about that is that, uh, it means he represents the High Priestess Arcana in terms of tarot. You don't often see male characters representing that archive. <laughs> just... <laughs> uh... Well, actually, I didn't get every question right. I got some of them wrong. Got quite a few of them wrong. Did get a higher rank that time, though. Not by much. Yeah, don't expect me to be going for the, like, I don't, I honestly don't know how you're expected to get the really high ranks of this. You have to have memorized basically all of the answers and then just instantly hit them. But for beating hard mode, what do we get? Uh, barely any mirror. And the recipe for enigmatic stew, which I'm pretty sure is not exactly the best thing to be eating. Also, we get brutal difficulty. I'm very surprised that I haven't failed yet, by the way. I often even fail hard quiz. Uh, here we go, enigmatic stew. Oh, question mark. Yeah. Uh, pretty sure that either, um, I mean, I suppose I can try it now. Yeah, so, it sometimes restores a lot of CP and sometimes it reduces your HP and CP to one. Are you prepared for Campanella's outfit this time? Yep, now he's sporting um, the fashions of the Eastern Quarter from both Calvard and uh, uh, East Street from Crossbell. Oh boy, this is going to be uh, all, all compatible. Oh, I hate this question! Ah! Uh, that. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, uh, see, this is the thing. Like, a lot of the time, these tiny little world building details that you have to go really out of your way to see, I just don't have an easy time remembering them. Oh, Shadow Spear. Uh, okay. It's not a spear? I guess it's the... You, you don't often read the descriptions of spells, you just kind of use them. Oh, well that one is easy, I don't know why that's in uh, Brutal. Uh, beginning of the... Oh yeah, see this, it's uh... I think it's a... Nope, it's a Piercing Cry, yep. And failed pretty much immediately. <laughs> At least you don't have to go into the door again to retry. And sometimes the questions do repeat. Oh wow, see, holy, holy wow. Um, I think that's an expression of delight. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that, I believe he's, yeah, the Spinach Fiend. Is that a Popeye reference? It probably is. Okay. Oh, holy freaking crap, I hate that. Uh, are there six pop? Nope, five. Yep. Oh, that's, uh, that's easy, Haze and Heal. Yeah, see, some of these I get, some of them I get. Uh, oh, Dull Knight. Uh, I think it's either 22 or 21. I'm gonna say 21 because it's a weird- No, it was 22. I should have gone with my, with my gut. Uh... Oh boy. Well, I mean, Anton wishes. <laughs> the moment that I saw Anton in one of those, I knew that that had to be the correct answer. Oh, Carnelia, I think has 13. Nope. Wow, I was really wrong on that one. Well, now I'm 50-50 on winning and losing these. Are you... Okay, this is why I hate this. <laughs> How are you supposed to remember that? Like, the exact number of fishing spots there are in the entire game? Oh, wow. Okay, um... 
Nope, Harold and Scott. Yeah, some of these I just, uh... Oh, see, that's a repeat question. If I got that wrong, that would have been really stupid. Repeat question... You can kind of brute force this. Uh, repeat question... Oh, are you freaking... Hundred? A thousand? I thought that would have been too high. Uh, 14? <laughs> Lucky guess. Oh, Lloyd's niece's... Nikki? Nope. Oh, uh, yeah, Sans. Perfume. Oh, well, really? Which one was it? Was it 16? Nope. One off. And I've already forgotten which this is. Yeah, a lot of people in many fandoms just remember characters' birthdays, unless, like, they are actually in the game, like in Fire Emblem Awakening and Fates. I basically can't remember them at all. Ah, uh, the despair. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, sure. You, you do you, Campanella. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I know that one. It's the Rubin River. Broccoli Reaper and Parsley Tyrant are all amazing. Okay, I'm pretty much... I've got, I've got this quiz wrong so many times that I can brute force my way through it now. Oh, wait, no, that was, that was a different river. But I still won anyway. I didn't read the question properly. Oh, okay, I guess... Oh, rank 4 is actually kind of nice for that. Still only, only... Like, this is not a good way to money grind. There actually is an infinite mirror recipe trick in this game. Uh, I believe it's the 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 Castella that, that does that. I'll have to try that at some point. But for beating uh, Campanella's quiz game on Brutal Difficulty, we get Swiftness. Now, this is a very fun quartz. Also, Maniac is a thing. I now forget if Maniac is the last one or if there's a Nightmare. But um, Swiftness, as I said, this is a quartz that's kind of fun to use. Battles become advantage encounters. No matter what direction you attack an enemy from, you always get a preemptive strike with swiftness on. Okay, yes, there's actually another quiz level higher than that. Yep, that's a thing. <laughs> uh, a nickname not used? Yeah, it's Mict because Mict is the name of somebody else. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if he was based on a real person that we'll end up meeting in the future. Uh, Gambler Jack. Oh, that's Victory Jack. Well, these ones haven't been too bad so far. Oh, uh, it's, it's R-O-E Toki, I think? Yeah. Because I, I had to listen to that and subtitle it, so I kind of remember those. Uh, wait, wow, how did I get that wrong? I was like, oh, that's easy, and I was, for some reason, missed that. Oh, that is insanely easy, Holy Light of the Sealed Land. Can't believe I got the last one wrong. <laughs> I know you got lost in that dungeon. Yeah, it's actually a pretty uh, difficult place to navigate. Oh, one cell, how much is that? I think it's 10 meters? Nope, 100, okay. Oh yeah, this is this is the other one. 
This is the other one that confirmed his true identity, yep. Oh, that's, uh, uh, FC. No, FC is Whereabouts of Light. Almost fell for that one, I swear is SC. Uh, one Rage is... Ah... Uh... Yeah, it's like a centimeter. Oh, are you serious? I think there's like one for every party member, but I think there's also like Gilbert, so I'm gonna say 17. Nope. Ugh. Like, there- I know there's one for every party member, but I think there's actually one for somebody who isn't in the party. Like, there might be a Gilbert one. Like, I get the feeling there is one for someone who isn't in the party. I could be wrong about that, though. Uh, one Torum is, I think, is it a thousand? Yeah, it is a thousand kilograms. Ah, SC is I swear. Gotta read the question very, very, very carefully. Okay, um, I wanna say that. Nope, okay. Uh, is it, yeah, Harlequin is the enemy. Uh, nope, I already knew the answer to that, and I forgot it. Redemption! Ah, oh, here we go, yes, uh, street fight. <laughs> yeah, I believe the maximum level in the th oh, it's either of these two. I want to say 149. Aha, yes, I was right, because it's, it's 49 in the first game, um, and I think it, it was like 99 in, in the second game. Aha, FC is whereabouts of light. Okay, actually got it that time, after sort of brute forcing it. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty bad rank, but at least I won uh, that difficulty. So with that, we get the Time Gem. And that achievement as well for doing it. Is there one more difficulty? I seem to remember that there was actually one that is mostly like based on out-of-universe knowledge. It might have actually been that one. Because it had the names of the, um, uh, like the... The ending themes. So was that the last one or is there one more? No, I actually did do all of them. Okay, then. So, I was going to say that uh, two things. One, Maniac was actually added in Japanese re-releases and backported into this version uh, for our, our uh, uh, English localization. So, that was not in the original release of the game. And also, that's one that I often find easier than, than Brutal, just because its questions are often based on out-of-universe knowledge. I think one of the questions that we didn't see show up is which entry in the Legend of Heroes series is Trails in the Sky. Uh, and I believe, um, and every time I say I believe in this, I've usually been wrong, but take, so take me with a grain of salt, but I believe the entire Sky trilogy is considered the Legend of Heroes 6. Uh, but uh, I'll put up on screen whether I'm right or wrong about that. But the time gem is... Remember when before uh, before the boss fight of this area I was saying that there's a certain gem that you really... A certain thing you really want to get? The time gem. So this gives you a pretty hefty penalty to your strength, defense, and most notably your ATS. It means that your arts damage will, will be neutered quite a bit. However, it also is cast 3. But here's what cast 3 actually implies. 
Cast 1 reduces cast time by 30%, cast 2 reduces it by 70%, and cast 3, or time gem, reduces your cast time by 95%. You only have 5% of the usual cast time. That means you often have single digit delay for casting arts. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna get into a battle and just demonstrate after I heal Kevin, that is. Yeah, seeing is really believing for this. Also, uh, I may as well demonstrate swiftness at the same time. Hello there, enemy. In fact, I'm actually gonna take off uh, Haze or Covert. Oh, you're not moving. I want to find an enemy that will actually chase me. Come on, where's an enemy that will chase me? Okay, this one's probably going to chase me. Yep, that thing got me, like, uh, right, uh, yeah, that thing got me from behind, and I still got a preemptive attack. So now, wow, oh, that thing reflects, which is, uh, a serious shame, because I really wanted to show off, um, but yeah, so, uh, Time Gem. Time Gem basically lets you do this. So, Zodiac goes off. Let's just get rid of this thing so it doesn't get in the way. Right, now I guess we can do Gaia Shield. Now, it did have a pretty decent delay after casting that time, but you see how quickly I got the Gaia Shield off. And say I wanted to use, uh, let's, let's use Calamitous Blast. Yeah, so delay after casting can still be significant, but, like, the time between your initial turn and when you cast the art is usually, like, instant. So let's try Cyclone Napalm. And if your ATS is high already, the penalty um, isn't really that much, and it's a small price to pay for being able to art spam. But the real value of the time gem is simply the fact that the stat penalty doesn't matter if all you're going to be using is support arts. So things like Earth Wall, Gaia Shield, Zodiac, Clock Up EX, Clock Down, any buff or debuff. There is no reason not to put the Time Gem on your main support caster, because it can only help them, and the stat penalty will not be hurting them in any way. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun for, uh, the fight against- uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna actually keep that on Kevin. Uh, because next time, we will be going to the Sanctuary and facing off against not Campanella. Sadly, that quiz game is the closest you ever get to fighting Campanella in the Sky Trilogy. But we'll be facing off against Campanella's fellow enforcers next time. And not with this party. I'll keep you in suspense as to who I'm going to use next time. So, see you all then for, like I said before, one of my favourite boss fights in the entire Trails series.